Girls, if you are single and you are looking for a man, you need to have minimum five men, not less. Because if you have only one, when you have with him cheeky cheeky, you become to be addiction of him. Five, five, five. I will teach you about love. Getting ready to record some videos. I have not used this before, so we'll see how it works. Okay, this primer feels really weird and sticky. Concealer, that's super old. I shouldn't be using it. It's like years old. Uh, oh! So it's supposed to be runny like this, so... Sponge holders on Amazon. Color already looks more promising. And that's it! Ooh yeah, I like this better already. I posted that me, school, and the girlies video. And it's someone else's voice. So I could be wrong here about the person's intentions, but... <laughs> I got a comment today that I deleted because I was like, I'm not here to be harassed. Uh, but I should have screenshotted it and someone was saying on YouTube, you're not married to a real man and if you are, you're not going to be married for long. And I was like, what? <laughs> so intense. Like, what are you talking about? And then it occurred to me that the person, I'm assuming, probably thought I was saying to cheat on your spouse. I forgot that this is the internet and we have varying levels of uh, abilities to think critically. So I figured I should explain in case anyone else was confused about that. This hourglass foundation. Actually it looks like the same color as the concealer. And I've gotten a little darker because of the sun. So I don't know why I had to clarify that. Like what else would make you darker? Oh I guess we have a health condition or something. Or maybe other things you're using. Got this uh this looks so weird, like war paint. This sponge holder on Amazon. The sponge itself came with this egg holder thing. This is my a problem with me. I don't want to make the sponge dirty because it's so cute. But it's like, it's for makeup. Why do they have to make them so cute? Can you make it like black? Maybe I should buy black ones, but pink is my color. So I guess that's all me. You actually lose a lot of the product on these sponges. I learned a long, long time ago, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try, try again. Maybe they've upgraded the technology. <laughs> so let's break down this video. The voice is saying, girls, if you are single, let's focus on that part. If you are single, I repeat, if you are single, you should have at least five guys. So what I interpreted her message to mean was, if you're dating casually, don't get caught up on just one person because then you might be more invested than that person is. Until you are exclusive, you should go on dates with different people. Once you decided to be exclusive with someone, then stick with that one person if that's what you agreed upon. My skin looks really decent, at least in person, so I think this primer Maybe I'll stick with this. I really prefer Elf's Poreless Primer, but I haven't seen it yet since. And it looks a lot like this is their blemish control face primer. Now, powder. All right, got this brush cover on Amazon. Super cute. Again, link in bio. I actually use Physician's Formula. I actually use their bronzer. It's a mix. It looks gross because I've gone over it many times. So it's got different colors. So I use the darker colors mainly and then the lighter colors I use under my eyes. But I really don't use this very often. I only use it if I have a video or photo shoot or if I'm going out and I just feel like my face needs a pick me up. Like if I look tired or, <laughs> or if my skin's oily. Like. If I have time to wash it, I'll wash it first, but sometimes I just still feel like putting this on. And then I just like <laughs> use the corner and do that. But I don't put foundation on in those instances. If I'm going out, I only use foundation if I'm doing a video. And here's another brush holder from Amazon. I'm actually going to use one of these brushes to get under my eyes so I can get a more focused coverage. So I used to use this, uh, I stress gel by St. Ives and they discontinued it like a decade ago and I, my sister and I would use it and I was like when like 
they would just continue this, I'm gonna be in trouble, and then they did. And then I was like, what am I gonna do? And ever since then, my under eyes have just been dark. I would just work with that. I feel like once my makeup's all done, it kind of helps, but there's still that indentation. It's like I need like something. I don't wanna get any medical procedure or like cosmetic procedures done for that because I'm super scared of people like being near my eyes because I know that you can get stuff injected. I don't remember what it is you can get injected under your eyes to make them plump so that it's even. Because I have this indent. Ugh. But, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be brave enough or I'll figure out a way. I know when I get more sleep it's not as noticeable so that, <laughs> there's an option and drinking more water. So there, I should try that first. <laughs> so if you've never seen one of these it's fun. It has this little slit and then you just put the brush in like that. But I should clean the brush. <laughs> Whatever, I already put it in. I was gonna talk more about the comment that person left, but I feel like I just explained everything. Like, there's really not much more to it. Obviously, I'm not saying to cheat on your spouse. Like, you really think I'm gonna post a video being like, hey everybody, cheat on your... <laughs> no, when you're dating, when you're single, date multiple people, which guys do it all the time. So don't, don't let, don't let these men, some men, some, not all. Don't let them gaslight you into thinking you're the problem for dating around when meanwhile they're definitely doing that. And again, once you become exclusive, that's totally a different story. But also, not everyone wants a monogamous relationship, so... Ooh! Ooh! I don't like... I don't like wearing foundation, it makes my skin itch. Then I like, don't want to touch my face because I don't want to get makeup on my finger, so I'm like... Oh. You've agreed upon a polygamous relationship or something outside of monogamy, then that's your prerogative. It's funny when I see comments like that that people leave, sometimes you immediately are like, why are they saying this? Like, what the heck? But I have to remind myself, one, that there are a lot of children on the internet, and I have no idea how old this person was, so they could have been very young, and also, even if they weren't young, they clearly, their critical thinking skills were lacking or non-existent because let's think about this. She said, if you're single, have at least five guys. She didn't say sleep with all the five guys. She said, have basically date, date around. That person was obviously triggered. I don't know why. Oh, I, I am married. It's going to be like I'm married, but my ring is in the, in the ring cleaner. I don't like to wear my ring when I'm getting ready because then it gets caught in my hair and on my clothes. I'm going to do some Barbie videos. I'm going to be changing. Like I have like, I have like 20 outfits to do. Let me hurry up too, by the way. So you might be sensing a theme, but I've got this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. e.l.f. is great because the products are vegan. And these brushes are by Eco Tools, by the way. They're eco-friendly and they're vegan. I went in the corners of my eyes with this one right here. Like that and like that. And what that does is it makes your eyes look a little bit more open. Then I went over the creases with shade. And then I went like that. And my eyes are not symmetrical. I was born with ptosis. So this eye is actually being held open by eyelid glue. So it's not, my eyes never are going to look symmetrical unless I get another surgery and they do it well. But I'm still going to do this to at least somewhat help with that. So. I'm doing all pink because I'm doing Barbie looks. I can always go more dramatic and I, I mean my dark skin is probably not going to show up that much anyway and I already went over my eyelids with blush but I'm going to go over it with this anyway just to see. And that you're just going to go over like this part of your eyelid. Yeah. And then what you want to do, so whatever color you want to match your outfit with the color that's there on the central part of your eyelid. And then what you want to do, take an angled brush and take a light color and you want to go right under your eyebrows. So maintenance wise, you want to you know make sure your eyebrows are decently groomed. I don't get my eyebrows waxed. Probably should because they look so invisible and it's crazy when you get them waxed all of a sudden they make it look like you have eyebrows when you don't. But it's because they're like taking away all the eye eyebrow hairs from around so it makes it stand out more because it makes the skin around it bare whereas right now it's like 
there are little hairs everywhere so it kind of just all like blends together so anyway when you do this it helps to make your eyebrows stand out a little bit more I'm not gonna bother with eyebrow powder because it makes me look really masculine and I don't like it <laughs> I thought it was such a cool idea when I got it but I've used it in some of my videos in my opinion it does not look cute but also maybe it's because I'm not used to having eyebrows I was like what's that I feel like my eyebrows need to be brushed eyebrow brush I use them all for my <laughs> eyebrows I think I'm just gonna refill it with like almond oil mix mix almond oil with uh, castor oil probably I'll have to test it out first because my skin is really sensitive and it might make it make them itch sometimes my eyebrows itch when I actually use this stuff so that's the basic look I feel like I still look really shiny but it all come together once I record and also like this side this side looks smoother than this side because you're like from driving the side that gets the sun more ages quicker and I don't I haven't been good about wearing sunscreen when I drive and so like this side of my face looks like a little more worn down so I do like a lot of this <laughs> this side <laughs> so it's not your angles right I think I'll in improve my beauty care routine to help fix that side so that's yeah, see from here, it looks kind of, I just don't do any close-ups. If I do close-ups, I have to do from this side. Also, I'm going to be well lit out there, so I think it'll be fine. Let's go film, and you'll see what I come up with. If you are focusing your all of your energy on one person and they're not at your level, it's gonna be off-putting and they're gonna probably ghost you. I'm not saying that's right, but I'm just saying if you want to date smart, I wanted to say if you want to date smartly, I feel like if you want to date in an intelligent way that is more likely going to be successful for you, I recommend not focusing all your energy on just one person until you've decided, both of you, to be exclusive. Until then, man, I used to go on multiple dates in a week, each with a different person. That's how you figure out what you like. You can have high hopes for one person, like say they seem cool, and then you meet them and you're like, oh. All that energy, time, and effort on that one person, and you're like, oh, that was a letdown. Because people can be different in person. A lot of times people are different in person than they are when you chat with them online. I remember I went on a date with this one guy who was a comedian and actually saw him on BET. If you're not familiar, it's Black Entertainment Television. And I'm not gonna say the person's name for obvious reasons. And this was so long ago that like no one probably would even know who I'm talking about. I reached out to him on probably MySpace. <laughs> That's how long ago this was. And he responded and I was like, oh, cause like he was cute and everything. He drove all the way down from, I wanna say he was from LA and I was lived in San Diego at the time. And he's a comedian, so I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Like, he's gonna be chill, it's, it's, we're gonna have a good time. The driest date probably I've ever been on. The entire time, we were at dinner. He was looking down at his phone, probably texting other people, and I was just like, trying to like, pull conversation out of this guy, and it's like, I get it. Just because you're a comedian doesn't mean you're going to be on all the time. But like, he wasn't even trying to have a conversation. It was so weird. So imagine if I had built, you know, a lot up and been like, oh, this guy, this date's going to be great. And then we're going to hit it off. And then we're going to, and then that happened. And then starting over, you know, whereas instead I most likely was just accepting dates from different guys who I found interesting and when that one was a dud, it's like, oh well, I've got another date in two days, so it's all gonna be fine. And it all ended up being fine, because I am happily married now. You know, being married isn't doesn't have to be your ultimate life goal. It certainly wasn't mine. I didn't even, I kind of was just like winging it. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, I didn't, I wasn't like, I have to be married, and I have to be married by this age, and this it just kind of like happened. Even when I met my husband, I was kind of sick of the dating scene and I was gonna take a break and I was like okay I'll go on this date and it ended up being really fun we laughed the whole time coincidentally I didn't go on a date with anyone else after him but honestly I think in big part it was because I was kind of planning on taking a break anyway <laughs> I wasn't dating seriously I had 
broken up with an ex-fiance a year prior to that. And I was just like, I'm not fun. And I understand if you're a woman and you want to have kids, then you're on a different timeline. I will say with that, there are options. Now, obviously, if you wait too long, there comes a point where you can't biologically have your own kid, but there are children who need to be adopted. I don't know. I feel like there's too much pressure on women. There always has been. And now there are more options. So that's great. And that's partly also why I was like, whatever. And so for me, it all fell into place, but also I wasn't like, okay, I met this guy and now we've been on a date. And now, you know, I wasn't like honed in on this guy. It was just kind of like we dated casually at first and then we started seeing each other more frequently. I was very clear about my intentions the whole time that I wasn't looking for anything serious. It just developed over time, naturally, organically. For me, it worked out that way. Just date around. Now, again, I'm not saying like go hook up with everybody, you go on a date with just don't focus all your energy on one person because when you do and you're not on the same page and you're not exclusive yet, it just can make things weird. It, then you can like rush things. So that's what, that's what, that's what that video was about. It was supposed to be funny. I thought that was obvious. I realize now everything can be taken the wrong way on the internet. I should have known. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go record these videos. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Stop playing with them, Riot. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Nikki. All of the Barbies is pretty. All of the Barbies is pretty.